Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer, and today I'm gonna share with you five things I'm doing this holiday season to help keep me happy and healthy. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now before I get started, I'm super excited to be partnering with Nokia Health on today's video. And I'm going to be featuring the Nokia Steel Activity and Sleep Watch as well. But I want you to keep in mind that I am in no way a medical or dietary expert. I am just a mom who wants to enjoy the holidays stress-free and without gaining 15 pounds. So I'm hoping by sharing what my plan is that that might help others who have similar goals. And I also think that these goals are good for any time of the year, not just the holiday season. So let's get started. So the first part of my plan to stay happy and not feel stressed out this holiday season is to not overcommit myself. I know during the holiday seasons, I want to do everything. You know, there's Christmas cards and decorating the house, cooking, parties, and of course presents as well. I want to do all of those things. But I've learned that when I put too much on my plate, it makes me feel stressed out. So this year, I'm, not, I'm gonna try my best not to do that. I'm gonna sit down with my family and we're gonna go over the schedule. You know, the parties and the events that we wanna attend. And we're gonna narrow those down to the things that are most important to us and just do those things. I'm gonna see what things I can cut, the things that don't really matter to us, that aren't super important, and we'll just not do them this year. Now, if I'm being completely honest, the idea of letting some of that stuff go and not doing it all, it's gonna be challenging for me. But when I think of the alternative, when I think about how the holiday season can be more relaxing and I can take time to enjoy it with my family, that sounds a lot better. Okay guys, now the next part of my plan is definitely gonna be the most challenging for me because it's about sleep and exercise. Now if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I struggle getting enough sleep like all the time. But unfortunately I've learned the hard way that chronic lack of sleep really affects everything else in my life and not in a positive way. So. When Nokia Health reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out this new activity and sleep tracker, I thought, yeah, that's probably exactly what I need to do to be accountable and to keep track of what actually is going on. Now, just like other fitness trackers out there, the Nokia Steel can help you track your activity level, like your exercise and your sleep cycles. And when you sync it with the HealthMate app on your phone, you can get personal coaching, you can log your weight, your food, and so much more. But what I really think is cool about the Nokia Steel is how subtle it looks. Most likely, no one will even know that you're actually wearing a fitness tracker. It's really very cool. And then of course, there's the battery life. I've worn other fitness trackers in the past and I was so bad at remembering to charge it every couple of days. But this one actually has a battery life that lasts up to eight months. Now I said eight months, not eight days, which is perfect for me. So now that I've worn this for a couple of days, I can go ahead and show you what the app looks like, specifically the sleep section. Not only does this track the amount of sleep you get, but it also tracks how long it took you to fall asleep how many times you woke up, and how much deep sleep you got, which is really important. And you can very easily compare one day to the next to determine what you could do differently next time. This information is really gonna help me to set and keep my goals. Now, if you'd like to know more about this product, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. Next up, I'm talking about holiday food. Now, I love to cook and I especially love the holiday recipes as well. I like to make mine just like grandma did. So I don't necessarily wanna turn my recipes into diet food, if you know what I mean. And to tell you the truth, if I showed up to my family's potluck with a diet food, I'm not quite sure that they would actually like to eat it. But here's what I'm gonna do instead. There are so many holiday recipes where you can just make small substitutions, small changes to really cut back on the sugar and calories in that dish. I totally recommend going to Pinterest and just looking this up. There are easy ways that you can just shave off some calories. And I feel like every little bit counts. Now I recently tried this myself. I was making a recipe for a loaded baked potato casserole, but instead of using potatoes, I actually used cauliflower instead. And I was surprised that it really tasted like potato, but had a lot less carbs. And even my kids liked it. 
So I'm really excited to try more swap out recipes like this. And if you have any that you like to use, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below because I'd love to give them a try. My next idea is also food related because I know around the holiday seasons, it's very easy to go to parties that are centered around food such as cookie swaps and things like that. But it could be a really good idea to not make them food related at all. Now last year I was actually invited to a sock exchange. So it's very similar to a cookie exchange, but instead of bringing cookies, you bring Christmas socks. Everybody brings a pair and then you draw a name out of a hat and you end up with a cute pair of Christmas socks. It's totally fun, a good way to get together with friends, but you're not going to eat a bunch of cookies. Another fun idea would be to get together with your friends and do sort of a minute to win it game night, if you know what I mean. So you just get together and you play a bunch of different games, you have fun, but you're not having cookies and treats and things like that. Another fun idea would be to go Christmas caroling with your friends and family. Although I'm not the best singer, so maybe I wouldn't do that. Okay, so the last part of my plan to have a happy and healthy holiday season is to embrace imperfection. Now I know this is a really hard thing for me, especially over the holidays, because I would like to have the perfect Christmas tree and a perfectly clean house and, and buy the perfect presents for everyone, but it's just not realistic and I just have to face the facts that when I try to make everything perfect, it's not gonna, it's just not gonna happen. And there's a quote that I really like, and it actually comes from one of my kids' favorite TV shows, which is Sophia the First. And in this show, there's a princess, and her name is Amber, and she's all about perfectionism. And her castle steward tells her, he says, when you're trying to make everything around you perfect, all you end up doing is making everyone around you perfectly miserable. And I can definitely tell that in my own life with my kids and my family. They don't care if the tree is perfect. They don't care if the house is perfectly clean. They care if mom is upset and they care if mom is stressed out. So I'm gonna try to let go of that this year. Certainly I want things to be nice, but I'm not gonna make them perfect and I'm not gonna stress if they're not perfect because at the end of the day, when my kids are all grown up, they're not gonna remember those type of things. They're gonna remember how Christmas felt and how I was and if it was overall good and things, the big picture things. So I'm gonna keep that in mind this holiday season and I hope that if you struggle with perfectionism that you will keep that in mind as well. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And if you'd like any more information about the Nokia Activity and Sleep Watch, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. I really do hope you guys have a happy and healthy holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.